Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and I'm looking today at a book from a new publisher, one I've not come across before, called Class Publishing. It's this book here, about 500 pages, just over, good index at the back, and it's covering financial remedies under the family procedure rules. And it's in this series called the At an E-Glance uh, Guide series. There's some detail on the back, and you can see the, the, the main book. It's the 2011 edition, this book. What it's got inside it are statements about the rules and then commentaries, which I think are extremely helpful in trying to point us in the right direction. We have the aims that are given, for instance, this is an example of part 27, and then it, it runs through logically with the sort of questions that we would have as practitioners. That gives you an idea, again, you have the part and then you have a commentary explaining what has happened. One thing that is important, there's a very detailed contents at the beginning to find things, and then what you do have is an updating service, which is mentioned there, uh, via the web, and there are various other points which I'm sure people will find extremely helpful. And there is a general overview right at the beginning for those who are relatively new to this. Let me explain what we've said about this book, because we've given it a title on the web of For the Busy Family Lawyer, this handy guide covers all parts of the 2010 rules relevant to money cases with accompanying um, at an e-glance resources. And that's important because it's the, this at an e-glance and the electronic element that I think is going to become much more to the fore in future. Let me say a little bit about the book anyway. It's, it's a quite a heavy book and it's, it's something I think is actually desperately needed for us at the Family Law Bar. Um, as commented above, um, in the overview to this excellent Family Lawyer's Guide, the new family procedure rules represent the most significant overhaul of practice and procedure pertaining to family justice over the past two decades. It was inevitable that we were going to get this following the CPR and the criminal procedure rules, and obviously it's something we have to come to grips with. Although the substantive law remains the same, the FPR presents in the words of the authors, quote, a new and comprehensive code intended to unify, rationalise, modernise and harmonise the previously diverse rules in operation in relation to different aspects of family law. Haven't we heard this before? That's why we need it, and I'm very glad we've now got this new regime coming in. They go on to say there is no time to prepare for a soft landing. And they go on, the general principle and presumption is that the new FPR will henceforward apply. Obviously decisions have been made, and I think they are clearly the right ones if we're going to progress in this area. The publication of this authoritative guide by Class Legal, and Class Publishing of the overall publishers, uh, is therefore timely in our view, dealing as it does with the financial applications under the new unified procedural code. Here you have access and guidance to all parts of the 2010 rules applicable to money cases, as well as the full text of the relevant rules and the associated PDs. And, as I say, within about 500 pages, um, you've actually got a lot in the actual work itself. And you can see that from the, the sort of detail that I've shown. It's logically organised, and the book is divided into 36 parts, for example, appeals and costs and so forth. Each part presents first the commentary, then the rules and PDs, as, so you can easily look up whatever you need to know. And I think that, again, is a helpful thing for the busy practitioner. It's more than just a book, though. It functions as an, um, really as an ongoing, up-to-date resource, linked as it is to its companion family uh, procedure.com website. And I've had to put it like that in, in various uh, of the reviews because I'm not allowed to put URLs in quite a lot of the things we do. But you will find the, all the relevant information within the book itself. Um, what I would say is the programme I'm talking about here provides amendments and additions to the rules, which we're obviously going to have, and, and the PDs, together with the latest additions of the commentaries, plus an impressive array of other benefits which you're going to get with this, including tools, calculators, and so forth. Let me conclude by saying that family law cases concerning money 
as most of them do, can be fraught enterprises, as we all know. All the more reason, then, why something like this publication, I think, will be of help with its accompanying facilities, because it's going to be a time-saver, I think, for you um, in the course of everyday practice. So if you're a family lawyer, acquiring a resource of, of this nature is something I think you should seriously consider. I certainly have, because I find it helpful with my own practice. The rules are cited as the Family Procedure Rules, and they're now in force as of the 6th of April 2011. So can I thank all the people involved in this publication, uh, which I think is extremely important, um, a contribution to what we're doing today. So thanks to all concerned. Bye-bye.